Hello everyone, it's Shane Conso, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Ski Bum, the Warren Miller story. And this is from director Patrick Creighton, and it tells the story of famous, influential, extreme sports documentary filmmaker Warren Miller, who focused his career on filming skiing and other extreme sports, whether it's like snowboarding and later in his life, skateboarding. And Warren Miller was an interesting personality, who's bigger, larger than life kind of personality, who made, who had such an eye for capturing the beauty and the intensity of the sport of skiing. And he spent a lot of time over the course of his career and his life perfecting, making these films where not only he captured the scheme, but he, in live performances in theaters, would do the narration in front of the audience. And brought his personality and to start off with that there's definitely some interesting perspectives on him as a personality the jokes that he would make which a lot of his jokes wouldn't really land very well today and it's interesting because the film does kind of try to like like they have some women on there being like oh but you know you wouldn't get we didn't get offended by it it's like it was that time and he was just so funny saying those things and it's just like okay it's a nice way to spin it, but yeah, it's some of the thing, like, I wish they would have confronted more. It's like, yes, this guy was flawed. He made some really sexist comments and had some perspectives that were really sexist in his films, but instead they kind of try to gloss over it. But I do appreciate that in other aspects of this film, they don't gloss over certain things. They show that this man, Moore Miller, was a ambitious man, and he took advantage of things. And he knew it when other people tried to take advantage of him and he came right back at them. One of the best stories in the film is this young man who is a skier who is using Warren to build his own legacy and build up his own filmmaking and appeared in one of Warren Miller's films. And then Warren Miller was like, not today, and changed his name during the narration. So, like, nobody would know who he was. So they wouldn't be checking out his films. It's just like, damn, that's spiteful. So, like, things like that were interesting and funny in the context of the documentary, but it did a great job of capturing the competitive nature of Warren Miller and being honest about it. And they talked to his kids. They realized, like, they made it very clear that their dad was obsessed with work and really trying to accomplish things, and you always think about when's the next thing he's going to get out on the road, which he spent 250 days on the road per year. That's not really close with your family. And they talked about that, and... That's something that he chose to do and to live out his life. And later in life, his son and his par uh, business partner wind up buying the company from their, his father and really changing it and leaving Warren Miller behind in terms of what he wanted to do and what made his film successful. You get to see the rise and fall of Warren Miller and what he was able to do. You get to see his last documentary interview. And that's kind of like the foundation of this particular documentary. And it was interesting hearing from the man and then hearing from others, because you had a lot of people in this documentary that are heavily influenced, have a great uh, appreciation of Warren Miller. And you also have his family who have a complicated perspective. And the documentary, for the most part, hits on some of those complexities. Obviously, I mentioned it kind of glosses over and forgives some things that maybe you shouldn't have. But you know, the documentary does a fine job of presenting that and is in general a little bit more impartial than it is partial. And the documentary captures his work really well. I was excited and just drawn in to some of the footage that they showed of the skiing and it was so shot, it was well shot, it was impressive, it was thrilling. And I think this documentary, above all else, made it very clear and presented and did justice to just how important that Warren Miller was to what he did and to skiing and to extreme sports like that. This documentary paints a picture of an influencer, a person that made an impact, and I think that's the most important thing and I appreciate about this film. In general, I think this is worth going to check out on Discovery Plus when it drops on the new streaming service, and I would definitely recommend Ski Bum, the Warren Miller story. 
But those are my thoughts on this new documentary. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.